This is a lesson that I do with my students to show them the causes of sea breezes and land breezes. Sea and land breezes are caused by an uneven heating of land and water by the sun. But instead of just telling them that, I would prefer to prove to them the difference between the heating of land and the heating of water. Before we begin experimenting and recording data, I want my students to be able to identify an experiment in which variables are controlled well. So I give them a series of these diagrams that I've cut and pasted. In some of the pictures, the bulbs are of different watts. In other pictures, there is not the same amount of sand and water. And in others, the bulb is a different distance from one container than it is another. So for all of those reasons, an experiment could not be very scientific. My students have to tell me if this setup would be a good experiment, and if not, why not? When we have finally settled on the fact that the bulbs need to be the same strength, the same distance from the containers, and the containers should hold the same amount of each substance, then we are ready to begin recording data. So here is our setup. I have clamp lamps, and you can use different kinds. I don't have very good ring stands in my room, so I discovered that I could clip them to the edge of a Rubbermaid container, and that worked pretty well. We have filled the containers with the same amount of water and sand. We didn't weigh it. We measured the volume. You could also weigh it and see if that gives you a different result. Then we put the thermometers in, and I tried to make sure that the sand and water would be the same temperature when my students arrived. So I had both of them out at room temperature well in advance. I can either give my students a chart ready to fill in, or I can allow them to create their own chart. It depends on how long I have in class. So we are going to record the temperature of the sand and the water every two minutes for a period of time. We will turn the bulbs on at the same time, and then every two minutes take a temperature reading for both and record the information. And after 10 minutes or so, we turn the bulb off and continue to take the temperatures every two minutes. This is a sample of the data collected by one group. They did not write their minutes over on the side, but this is the only one I can find in my file right now. So we then go to a website called create -A -Graph, which I've used several times for different things. As you can see, you can choose the kind of graph that you want to make and then plug your data in, choosing colors and how many different variables you have. Then it will graph that information for you. As we can see from the graph, land is going to heat quickly and be very warm in the middle of the day and then cool off very quickly. The water, however, takes a lot longer to warm up and a lot longer to cool down. Now we have the scientific basis for understanding sea breeze and land breeze. Once we have determined that the land heats and cools faster than the water, then I can draw diagrams on the board showing that during the day the land heats more quickly. Since the land is warmer, warm air is going to rise over the land and cool air will blow in from the ocean creating a sea breeze. At night, since the water takes longer to cool, hot air will rise over the water and then a breeze will flow from the land out to sea, a land breeze. To help my students review, I made a fill-in-the-blank poster for each table. I have put the important words on bright paper. When they start with at night, that will determine what all of the other blanks will be filled in by. At night, the land is cooler and the ocean is warmer. The warm air rises over the ocean, cooler air over the land, a land breeze blows from land to the ocean. However, if you trade at night for during the day, then you have to switch all of the words because during the day, the land is warmer and the ocean is cooler and so on. So sh students should find themselves swapping the words and recognize that these are opposite phenomena. When they have filled in all the blanks, they will find that they have two pieces of paper left over. It will either say sea breeze and during the day, or it will say land breeze and at night. 
that helps them remember that those two things go together. I would love to give credit to the teacher who originally showed me about the heating and cooling of the sand and water in containers, but I can't remember. But this is the way I have adapted this lesson to fit my state standards. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube channel, NPMM Science, for a variety of elementary science activities.